Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So, first run went too well, I'm officially doomed. I was officially doomed anyway, as soon as I took Warrior. Even when I don't take Warrior, I seem to be pretty doomed lately. I do have two Gorehals, though. Two Gorehals, two Ogres, two Whirlwinds. Two Whirlwinds isn't actually the most exciting thing in the world, but whatever. Got some stuff. Garrosh versus Jaina. You asked for it. Victory yeah, last game was too easy. Not, my opponent did not have the right stuff to blow up my minions. You are not starting hand material. Um, I'm worried my hand might get worse if I don't keep you. I'm going to pitch this, even though that's a combo. Just hope my opponent doesn't unstable portal out something insane. Should probably pitch the shield master too. You know, there's something. Not a great starting hand though. Um, I guess I'm going to coin out the ooze. As much as I'd like to use it to get him out, that's like way too long. The, at least with this guy, I could swap the ooze to work out better against whatever she puts out. I can definitely manipulate things. Or she can just shoot it for that, and I'm probably not going to mess with it. I mean, I could turn him into a 1-3, which is pretty crap, although then I'd be able to turn him back into a... <laughs> back into a 3-2. Oh, that's so stupid. If I just do this, then it's just going to die. But... I think that's okay. I don't really want to alchemy that, even though I probably should, because then I'll have something on the board, and I could work with this, but... She's taking her whole turn to do that. I have some pretty strong four mana plays when I get there. That was a perfect draw. It is indeed clobbering time. I agree. I concur with clobbering. So. Okay. Well, that's not really good for overtime here. Um. I think the thing to do is play him, hit for four, uh, I should see if that works. Well, I'm going to play him first anyway, and then I can inner rage to finish this guy off. Come on. No, you are stupid. Uh, stupid. Fine. Do I buff him? Because that would get him up to four attack. That's not really good enough. Uh, if I whirlwind, he's got. Th then these guys each have three hit points. He has four. He'd be at five four. <sighs> yeah, since the ogre missed, I think I'm going to whirlwind. I don't think the mage is going to use five mana to do three damage to each of my guys. I mean, now they are frostboltable where they weren't especially before, but they still sort of were because you go frostbolt and fire blast. And I don't know. Either this guy can't survive either of them anymore. That's what the whirlwind did. She has to get rid of that guy because he's a death machine. Give me a quest. I have to get rid of that guy because he can go crazy. Oh, this could go all kinds of wrong. I could flip him to try and make him survive, but it's not really going to work. Let's let's just see if he can kill that. No. He is not the brightest bulb. Okay, in that case, we definitely want this guy, and we're also mostly screwed. I would have preferred to be playing him and stuff. No, this, this is going to work out badly, I guess. I would guess. I'm guessing she has at least two spells to play to make him into a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, secret's also not good. I am ready. Oh, god damn, he's going to be even bigger. Check it, check it, check it, check it. 
Yep, that worked out pretty bad. The light protects me. I wasn't going to give her something bigger, that's for sure. Uh, this is so messed up. I'm going to get crushed by that adventurer. I could flip him, but it would make him harder to kill, and he's going to keep growing. So I'm just going to eat it for now. All she has to do is proper board control, and I'm screwed. It should not be difficult. Her throwaway forces can easily take care of these guys. Doesn't even cost her much. And she gets a spare part for him. Awesome. Oh, yeah. This is fantastic, Vilas. Uh, I was going to say I need an execute, but now it won't even help. Not good. Uh, interesting. I'm going to hold on to this. It could do me some good in the short term. Like, I could blow this up, but... I save it in case I need to get rid of this bubble, or because it lets me finish him, or something. Mostly, though, I'm just going to get obliterated. What I needed in this game was for that ogre to succeed at one of those coin flips. If either of those two coin flips had succeeded, then... We, we wouldn't have gotten into this position, or it would have been hard, like, she wouldn't have been playing him at, the, at that particular time, anyway. Oh my god. Execute would be nice. But that is not the execute. No, there is nothing I can do. Flipping him is not even going to help. There's no way to math this out. I can barely kill her. I wonder. You love my new recipe. <laughs> Don't rush. <sighs> Just one more result to throw on the pile of Mage Better Than Warrior in Arena. It's anecdotal and sort of worthless in that sense, but on the other hand, Mage is better than Warrior in the Arena. Well, in this case, it was mostly just, there was a questing adventurer, I had no way to deal with him. Ta-da! Piece of crap. Okay. I did have a pretty poor start. I probably should have pitched my uh, troll and, fav and hoped I got something else cheaper. In hindsight, I could have kept the execute and maybe I would have been better off. But I was so short of useful things I could play. This deck does have enough sort of weak-ass, not powerful on their own spells, like combo spells like Whirlwind and stuff, that my hand can get clogged with them. Or it could get clogged with gore howls at the start of the game, which are not useful. Okay, that's some stuff. Um, more stun commander. I might keep. Them? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch both of those and hope I get some of my two cost stuff. I have a whole bunch of two cost stuff. Oh my god. There's that hand clog we were looking for. I I did that knowing that I do have the fiery war axe. It is pretty strong like, tool to keep me from totally dying early on, but I am going to need to draw minions at some point. That's, uh, pretty good. I think I need to coin... I think I need to get the Fiery War Axe out and kill her.
Can I afford to maybe just play the knife juggler and then kill her afterwards? I had the coin. My opponent's only got one. Is only gonna have two mana to buffer or something. This will probably be okay. Because it's he has he can't attack right away, so getting him out sooner is better. Whereas the axe can come out in surprise. That's not really good for me though. I mean, it, it did give him the opportunity. He could have hit him for one and then healed. No, he can't heal her. That's why I was. Never mind. That was why one of the reasons he was a good option is because she can't hit him and survive. So my opponent wouldn't have had the choice if my opponent had like a slow hand otherwise to just like hit and heal. That wouldn't work with the knife juggler. I wonder. Play the axe and kill her. I don't know what he's waiting for. What are you going to do? Cast the spell Silence? Thou wasteth time. Yeah, so anyway... Whatever. I think it's pretty straightforward. I think I'm just going to War Axe, get rid of her, do some damage. If the spider gets cracked open on this, I might end up having to Whirlwind them away. We'll see. Although if he hits him for one, then that Whirlwind's not going to be very appealing because my guy would die and he's pretty good. <sighs> we'll see. I need to draw some more minions I can cast, though. I do have a number of, like, two and three cost minions in here. Like, a good number of them. Of course, I've got hand clog of, like, warrior spells. I wonder. If I can draw a castable minion every turn, then this is fine, but otherwise, it's not good. Meanwhile, my opponent is trying to time us out to death. That's awesome, because I get to sit here and fail at entertaining you. I wonder. Yeah. Setting eyebrows. Time waste of power. He runs out two turns in a row, isn't it? Supposed to like start the clock sooner every turn on his subsequent turns. Because that would be nice. I guess if he played stuff then not so much. No, he didn't do anything, did he? He hit me for one. Whoop de friggin' do. Um I'm just gonna hit him. Status quo seems okay to me. He doesn't want to open his guy. Yeah, he is getting the shorter timer as punishment for his transgressions. I don't know if he's AFK or just a jerk or what, but if he's AFK, this is going to be boring in seven different ways. So hooray! Um, He's not very useful there. What now? Flip him. The one damage might hit it. It's probably a bad idea. In a, in a ton of different ways. So I'm just going to keep up how it is. Because I'm kind of fine with this. Save him for a better use. Where I'm not just looking for justification to waste my cards. If I'm hitting my opponent for three every turn and they're hitting me for nothing. Yeah, they're gone. Jerk. Oh well. I uh, guess that counts as a win. Sad though it may be.
Good. One loss and one opponent DC'd. What an excellent, awesome run so far. Two executes is pretty good. Two ogres is good. Two gorehals and two volcanic rakes. That's all really good stuff. Two whirlwinds is like meh. I mean, it. You can see why I took them. Like there are a lot of situations where it's good, but it is also often sort of a weak ass card to have in your hand. And yeah, I've got all these guys. I've got Asidus, Alchemist, Gilblin, Knife Dragon. I guess I don't have that many two cost guys. And I've got another bunch there, but yeah, no, my deck may not have enough fast guys. It's got enough low-cost cards, except that a lot of those low-cost cards are these spells that are not very early game useful. So, we'll see if I can get any kind of a decent start next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, or on your touch screen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touch screen is not recommended. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.